All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I've got a couple of interesting stories for you guys today. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, a great holiday week slash weekend with your friends and family. Um, I hope you guys stayed safe and healthy and are having a good weekend. I know I did. So the first story that I have for you guys today, Rolly Winkler posted a physique update. Of course, it's not recent, but it is recent. So he says the picture was taken two weeks ago, which would be roughly five weeks out. So it is recent in the sense that it's close to the Olympia, but not recent in the sense that it wasn't taken today, but it was posted today. Now, the reason why I thought this physique update of Roly was noteworthy is because typically with Roly Winkler, the physique updates that you see of Roly going into every Olympia are usually a most muscular shot, a shot showing off his upper body, his round shoulders, his crazy triceps, his arms. That's typically the focus of a Roly Winkler physique update. So for him to show his legs, um, I thought was a pretty good physique update. I think that's kind of telling that Rolly's in decent shape here. His legs look very separated. His uh, quads, you can see a lot of detail in his quads at uh, supposedly five weeks out. Um, so I'm curious to see what kind of package Rolly's going to put together here. And in my prediction video for the Olympia that I did a couple days ago, maybe it was like a week ago, I predicted that Rolly will be somewhere around seventh place. Now, a lot of people think that Rolly's going to be in the top six. Some people think top three. And I based my top, uh, my, my seventh placing on this. Last year, at the 2019 Mr. Olympia, Rolly Winkler, he had a lot of crazy physique updates going into that Olympia where he looked really good, probably the best ever, some of those physique updates going into that Olympia. But he wound up placing fifth at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. And in that lineup, you had the absence of Phil Heath and Big Rami. This year, both of those names are added, and we haven't seen noticeable improvement of uh, Rolly Winkler, at least in terms of physique updates, I think he looked a lot more confident last year and a lot, he was posting a lot more frequently last year as we were going into the Olympia and you saw a lot more of Rolly. And I think that this year with the addition of Phil and the addition of Rami, I don't know if this year is going to be a year that Rolly is going to beat either of those two guys. So I could see both those names pushing him back to seventh place from his fifth place placing last year. Now, Roly is honestly one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time. I think he's one of the freakiest there ever was. I think pound for pound, he's probably freakier and bigger than Big Rami for his height and weight. He's a freaky bodybuilder. He's one of my favorites, and I would love to see him one day in the conversation for even the Mr. Olympia title. But the thing with Roly that really sets him back um, is oftentimes his conditioning is just hit or miss. Sometimes he's on. Sometimes he's completely off. And there's really not a whole lot of in-between for Roly. When he nails it, he nails it. And he's up there. He's like a top three guy. He's winning shows. And when he's not nailing it, he's just kind of on the outside looking in. Um, and I feel like just this year, based on what we've seen from Rolly, we haven't seen a whole lot. I would like to have seen more physique updates, more updates from him where he looks like he's confident in how he's looking like we saw last year. And we just haven't really seen that. So I don't know. I would love to see Rolly place higher. He's one of my favorite bodybuilders. But I don't know, man. This year, I have a hard time making a case for him in the top six with the incredible lineup that we have at this year's Men's Open Mr. Olympia. But let me know in the comment section below, where do you guys think Rolly Winkler is going to place at this year's Mr. Olympia? Top six, top three, top ten? Where do you have him placing? Now, speaking of Men's Open bodybuilding at the Olympia, Juan Morel, another qualified bodybuilder for this year's Mr. Olympia, who's about three weeks out right now. We haven't really talked about Juan much, but he posted a physique update and he is one of the guys that I really enjoy the physique updates that he posts because he brings something different to the men's open stage, specifically a small waist and a, a really a great vacuum pose. Um, so he posted this video at three weeks out, hitting a vacuum pose, talking about bringing the vacuum pose to the Olympia stage, which is something, it's, it's really one of the things I really like about Juan is the fact that he brings something different. He's got a small waist. He hits this pose that almost no men's open pros hit. And I really like that about him. I like when a men's open bodybuilder brings something different, whether it's their posing, whether it's their shape, whether it's their structure, or whether it's just simply a vacuum pose. Now, I think at last year's Mr. Olympia, Juan Morel ended up somewhere around 14th. He didn't look as conditioned as he looked in a lot of his Instagram pictures on stage. And I think that was the main reason for it. He just looked kind of off. Um, so I don't know where he's going to place this year. 14th last year, I was expecting him to be top 10. Um, so it's kind of hard to say, but based on the vacuum pose, I got to give him props. I love to see that. Love to see something different. And it adds, uh, it just adds a level of excitement to the Olympia where you don't see the same thing over and over and over again where the same guy comes out um, or the guys come out and do the same thing and kind of look the same. Juan brings something different, and I hope that he does well this year. And I want to thank Labrada Nutrition for sponsoring today's video as well. If you guys want to go ahead and go over there and shop on Labrada.com, get you guys some lean body protein shakes ready to drink. 
There's a link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is their video. Now, next up in the news, let's talk about Hadi Chupin. Now, Hadi Chupin's friend Parsifar Mahdi had recently posted um, like a day ago on his Instagram story saying there was a 50-50 chance, essentially, of Hadi being able to get the visa to get to the Mr. Olympia. And Hadi, on his Instagram, has posted quite a few physique updates lately. Uh, well, kind of physique updates. You get an idea of how he's looking. I know that the pictures of him wearing the Evagen, the blue Evagen tank top, those are all relatively recent and taken during his prep for this year's Mr. Olympia. So any of these updates that you get um, in that tank top, in the Evagen tank top, those are from his Olympia prep this year. And you can see he's looking like a tank. He's a shorter guy. And this is what I said. A lot of people don't understand um, the hype around Hadi Chupin, and this is what I think it is. He's a shorter guy. He used to compete in 212. Um, and you talk about the hype around a guy like Big Rami. Big Rami is much taller than Heidi Chupin. I think Heidi Chupin, pound for pound, has every bit of muscle that Big Rami has for his height. But the difference between Heidi and Big Rami is that Heidi comes in shredded with all that size. He does not have the prettiest structure. He has kind of a, at times, a blocky midsection. At times, he looks kind of blocky on stage. But he's got these crazy quads. Very similar to Rami. Again, just a shorter... I think he's just like a shorter version of Big Rami. He's got all this size, but he comes in peeled. So he would be like the miniature version of what I would like to see from Rami. The shape that Hadi Chupin brings is what I would like to see from Rami. And that's why I'm so big on Hadi Chupin. He brings a crazy amount of muscle mass, but he comes in condition every single time. I've never seen Hadi Chupin come in out of, sa out of shape. And another similarity between Hadi Chupin and Big Rami, Hadi Chupin posted a death face picture similar to what Big Rami does um, before every show. Hadi Chupin looking pretty scary in his uh, diet face picture that he posted today, actually just an hour ago. I mean, the man's got vascularity on his head. His eyes are sunken in. Um, Hadi looks like he is ready to compete. And again, right now, apparently it is looking like a 50-50 shot that he's going to get the visa. I'm really hoping he does. I think he would really make, you know, you put Hottie in these callouts with Phil Heath, Big Rami, Brandon Curry. I mean, he was in a call out with uh, William Bonac and Brandon last year, but I would really like to see how a guy like Hottie would compare to Phil Heath, to Big Rami. I think the Big Rami Hottie Chupin comparison would be amazing because I do think their physiques, their structures are very similar for the amount of muscle they have. Their waists are pretty small. Their legs are pretty big. Um, the way their upper bodies are built, they've both got super round cap shoulders um, that just make them look crazy wide, even though, again, Hottie's shorter. And I don't know, man. Hottie is just one of my wild cards this year where I feel like he could be a guy. I think, honestly, last year he should have been second. I think he could be a guy that breaks into this top three this year um, where a lot of people are talking about the top three being Big Rami, the top three having Phil Heath and Brandon Curry. I think Hottie is one of those guys that, if he brings that conditioning, he could be in that mix for top three with two Mr. Olympias, Brandon Curry and Phil Heath. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Now, next up in the news, let's make this the final story for today. Kai Green. So I told you guys Kai Green was kind of teasing you all with the update um, that he's making this big announcement. All week he was promoting that he's got this big announcement that was coming out um, on Thanksgiving, basically Black Friday, late at night, uh, late at, night at Thanksgiving. Um, so he's been teasing this all week. And I told you guys in a video, I know what the announcement is, and I told you guys it's not going to be an Olympia announcement because everybody thought that he was going to announce he's doing the 2020 Mr. Olympia. As you guys found out, the announcement that Kai made was the announcement that he is signing with Redcon 1, or he is now signed to Redcon 1. He kind of uh, rolled up his own supplement company, Dynamic Muscle, and he's now partnered with Redcon 1, which I think is actually a good fit because Kai is always known for wearing that red hoodie when he was with... Uh, Muscle Meds, I think it was, Carnivore. Um, so that was the big announcement. Now, why am I still talking about Kai Green? I know a lot of you guys hate when I talk about Kai Green because I was right about the first announcement. I told you guys about that. I do know there is a second announcement from Kai coming. It's not about this year's Mr. Olympia, but it is an announcement that is not going to be a tease. 
It's not going to be an ebook. It's not going to be about a supplement company. It's going to be an announcement that is not going to let you guys down. So I do know there is a second announcement coming, and it. Uh, I don't want to. Say, I don't know how much I can really say, but my understanding is that this announcement is tied in with his contract with Redcon One. So it's not. Some, it's in writing. It's not something that he can just tease about. I believe it's something that actually has to happen. So this time, at least, I'm actually fairly confident that. The next announcement that you see Kai make, and he's hinted at this second announcement a couple times on his page, um, this one won't be a disappointment. I can pretty much guarantee you that. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think that next announcement is going to be. What do you want to hear from Kai Green? What do you want that announcement to be? Let me know in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy it. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet already. And as always, uh, and you guys saw in that uh, post, Black Friday deal still going on with Redcon 1. If you guys want to pick up a free belt, a free shaker cup, a free tub of uh, pre-workout, and a t-shirt for a $50 purchase, you get all that stuff for free. Pretty crazy deal. If you if you want to do that, let them know Nick Strength and Power sent you over there. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment in the comment section below. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And as always, Nick Strength and Power, signing out.